In preparation for assigning properties to your members' nodes or plates in STAD Pro, it may occasionally be convenient to renumber these types of elements. So in this short video, we're going to show you how to renumber your um, different types of elements within your STAD Pro model to make the assigning of the properties a little bit easier. Now it is important to note that any of the renumbering tools that you can find in STAT Pro are irreversible operations, meaning that once you invoke this command, the program will stop you and ask you if you are you're sure you want to make this change. And once you commit that change, you can't use the undo tool to kind of undo your renumbering process. Let's go ahead and start with the nodes in our model. Now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to have to select the nodes we want to renumber. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go to my keyboard and go Shift N to turn on my node numbers. And as you can see, my node numbers are kind of all over the place. I've had nodes in here. I've deleted some. The numbering just kind of continues from there. And I may find it more convenient to say have like my foundation nodes, um, you know, the lower nodes numbers. And then as I work my way up to have my node numbers increase. So let's go ahead and select our nodes that we want to renumber. So I'm going to go to my select tab in my ribbon toolbar. I'm going to activate my nodes cursor and for me I'm going to select all of the nodes in my model. Now you're going to notice once you make a node selection that you're going to have a new tab in your ribbon toolbar for your node tools. And here I can find a renumber nodes icon. Now again it's going to let me know that this is an irreversible operation. Do I want to proceed? We'll go ahead and click yes and then I can sort my nodes based on their different coordinate values. So say for example I want them to start the nodes with the lowest y coordinate first. So that basically my node number one will kind of start at the base and will all my foundation nodes will come first then any node with a higher y elevation will come next. But in addition to that I can add some other sorting features. I'll go x next and then we'll go z. You can bring these up or down if you want to, to basically control the sorting and how the renumbering is going to take place. I'm going to start my node numbering at node number one, and I'm going to go ahead and say ascending. Once we're done, we'll go ahead and click accept, and it's letting me know that my nodes have been renumbered. Let's go ahead and go shift N to turn off my node numbers. I'm going to go shift B to turn off my member numbers. Again, I can see my member numbers are kind of all over the place, so I want to renumber them to make it a little bit easier later on. Again, this is not a necessary part of your workflow, but it may make some things easier for you. So I'm going to go to my Select tab in my ribbon toolbar. I'm going to activate my Beams cursor, and let me select all my Beam members. I'm going to go to my Beam tools in my ribbon toolbar, and I can just go ahead and say Renumber Beams. And again, I'm going to start with my Y, X, and then my Z. I'm going to start my numbering at number one and click Accept. Now, I've gone ahead with the approach of renumbering the entire model. You can select a certain um, range, however, as well. So say I want everything at my first floor level to be a 100 series beam, everything at my second floor level. You can do this in multiple steps to really control your numbering from there. And you can see that my everything has been renumbered. You can see it renumbered over here. Let's go ahead and go Shift B and I'm going to finish this off by going Shift P which is going to turn on my plate numbers. Again my process is going to start by selecting my plates. I'm going to go to my plate tools and then I can renumber my plates as well. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.